Okay, my name's Paul, and uh, I created an aquaponics system, and I'm going to try to uh, match the videos with the pictures and do a voiceover. What I used was a bathtub at Home Depot for 119 bucks, and I got these two cement tubs. I put uh, plugs in there, and these cement tubs, one was used, one was new. My friend gave them to me. Um, they're going to be my grow beds. Now, this is one side I pumped it full of water and uh, it took all the water out of the tub to fill that thing up. Now when it's filled with stone it won't do that so I decided to do one side. Now this is like a filter that's just a piece of pipe I had but that's an inch pipe or inch and a half pipe draining. Um, it wasn't actually enough to overcome the pump so I had to uh, open up that hole a little bit larger and you drill a couple holes at the bottom so the water will run down slowly after you fill it for 15 minutes. Um, what I do is I pump the water from the pump. I got a splitter. I actually did two beds and it comes down into uh, that fork and it pumps the water at the bottom of the bed and uh, and this is when it was first put together. That's a tomato plant that's just a cutting. There's another tomato plant that I pulled out of my garden in October. That's a wild radish that was growing. I just figured I needed some kind of uh, vegetation in there. That's the depth of the bed. And that bed is actually filled to the top with a kind of volcanic stone that I cleaned real well. Um, the pump splits off into two different hoses. The hoses then uh, feed those feeder pipes to the bottom of the bed. Um, just, again, stuff I pulled out of the garden that was growing wild, cucumber there. And uh, it's kind of the way the filter works. It's just a larger PVC with holes in it that lets the water through. The pump will fill that to the top of that inner pipe. And then that water drains back down into the bathtub for the fish. Kind of aerates the water as it does that. That one, obviously, I fill higher than the other one. You fill within about an inch and a half to two inches to the top. That's the kind of stone I used. It's a volcanic stone. Um, it's really lightweight. Um, I don't know if it's good to use. We'll see. But I washed it really well. There's the bathtub, and it's kind of still a rough setup um, with the hose there. There are my grow lights. Um, there's four. One's kind of tilted on an angle higher up. The other ones are straight over the bed on a special kind of knot I tied as a tree guy. I could raise those lights up as the plants grow. Um, that larger plant was a green pepper plant that produced a lot of fruit um, over the summer. And I went ahead and just dug them out of the ground and stuck them in there before the first frost. You're going to see the growth um, in uh, some of the later clips. Those are just a cucumber. Some of those things died. That cutting is doing absolutely incredible. Um, and uh, I planted some seeds for some beans. You're going to see what happened there. Uh, also, here are these little pods that when you add water, they go into these little netted pods. I planted some pepper seeds in there and some various things, and I actually dropped them in under the stone, leaving just a little dirt wad sticking out to see if that'll seed the plants. Again, this is uh, the system, I think, as it currently is to date. Uh, you can see some of the growth. Um, I'm going to show you here. I'm trying to watch it while I'm recording the voiceover. But, uh, you know, the cucumber flowered. The beans sprouted up. That's pretty good growth. That's uh, about 10 days from seed to that. Um, that tomato plant's doing fantastic. That cutting actually has a little bitty tomato. I don't know, I'm going to zoom in later and you'll see it with a couple flowers on it. I can't believe it's still alive. The lettuce is getting big. The romaine's doing great. Uh, those are just little tiny things. Um, I just don't know how they're going to root because I didn't know what depth to put them in. Um, so I planted a bunch in there. I just sprinkled lettuce seeds in there and and uh, we'll see what starts growing. The radish was doing great. I actually pulled him out. He's not growing any bigger. He's just growing down. Um, I don't think you could really do radishes in a stone system. We'll see what happens. But uh, I just need him to suck some of the nitrogen out of the water. Nitrates, um, actually. That tomato plant's doing fine. I think I have like a, a little mite, little white 
bugs. I don't know what those things are called on there. Um, there I'm showing you the growth from that pepper plant. It's actually growing, and I think it's about to throw off a flower. Um, that's pretty amazing because the system's only two weeks old. Um, and uh, it looks like it's doing really well. Um, so, uh, like I said, I had this little mite or something. They, they just sit and they don't really move. I noticed uh, that they were sucking the juice out of the plants. It looked like I had to pull a couple tomato plants out. That's a pea, by the way, from seed. And so what I did is you're not supposed to use pesticides in these things. Um, I took some uh, olive oil in a spray bottle and I sprayed it on the plants. I don't know what that's going to do. I know as a tree guy um, with mites, it suffocates the mites. It closes all their pores. There's my fish pond. It's a bathtub, like I said, from Home Depot. And uh, I haven't put any water in it, so I've got an aerator aerating a couple jugs of water. One's, I think they're both five-gallon. Uh, one's a garbage can. One's a cooler. Um, you got to do that for a couple days before you add the water to try to get the chlorine out because that will kill the bacteria. Um, from what I've learned is the bacteria is the most important part of this entire system and you've got to make sure you have that going on. Um, I actually got a couple gallons of water from my aquaculture farm about 40 minutes from me and I dumped that into the system to try to jump start it. I've got really good nitrates. Um, I'm way high on nitrites which uh, it says it's dangerous for the fish. Now there's the fish tank. I've got the water draining and then I angle it to create a vortex, like a whirlpool as the as the system drains. And uh, I turn the pump on there and what I'm doing is I'm dropping the food and you're going to see all the fish just start, you know, going after the food and the food's being pushed around in a circle and they're going to turn around and follow it right around and they're going to start coming up on the other side. It's kind of this little game I play with them because <laughs> the water's turning into a whirlpool, keeps them exercised. I started out with 180 goldfish, uh, 80 big ones and 100 small ones. I, lose, I started to lose about four or five fish a day in the beginning. Um, when I first put them in, I lost 10 because they jumped out of the back of the tub. <laughs> but uh, so far, so good. I'm not losing them at a rate anymore. There again, that's that bean from uh, seed. He's jumped up. He's about six inches tall uh, where the leaves started popping off. Um, I got a problem. The first two baby leaves, they turn brown real quick. I don't know if that's over fertilization. Um, you guys probably can help me with that. Um, you see how brown those bottom leaves were? And uh, these leaves are kind of grown out a little crooked and distorted. I don't know what, what that is. Maybe they had a hard time pushing through the stones. Um, but I got about five bush bean plants coming up. Uh, there's the romaine lettuce, um, some... Uh, black seeded Simpsons growing in there as well. Uh, it, it's amazing. Two weeks. Um, like I said, I tried to get this cycle going really quick in this uh, system by dropping in that bacteria um, right away because I got a lot of goldfish and I, I think I need a lot more plants growing. So I uh, threw a bunch of seeds in there. There's the tomato plant and uh, I just had sprayed them with oil earlier today. Um, I don't know if they like oil. But uh, that's what you do on trees when you have, uh, you know, uh, scales, they call them. That's what these things look like. They look like little scales and legs, and they would get on the plants and suck the juice out of them. So I hope I didn't commit an unpardonable sin, uh, aquaponics people, <laughs> but I sprayed olive oil on my plants. That cutting is doing amazing. It's just uh, incredible. Um, it's got a little tomato. I don't know if I zoom in here or not. Um, but yeah, here it is. You see the little tomato? He wasn't there when I first put him in. He was just a speck on the on the branch, and he's growing. So I don't know. I don't think I'm going to eat him. He's kind of scary. But the flowers look good. Okay, I'll do another video in about four weeks. I'll let you see what's going on, see if uh, the seedling's sprouted. I'll catch you guys later.